Hi, I'm Jennifer Figner, and I'm the Associate Vice President responsible for academic operations here at BCIT. As you likely know from previous announcements, we've been using our Emergency Operations Committee to help us navigate through the COVID-19 pandemic, and I've been representing the academic side of our operations on that committee. I wanted to reach out today with two key messages to all of you. The first one is, wow, what a week. And the second one is, thank you. This feels like a very different world than it did just over a week ago. We've been dealing with change on a daily basis, sometimes even an hourly basis. And many of us have new phrases in our vocabulary that we didn't have a couple of weeks back, like social distancing or flattening the curve. There's been a lot of long days and we've all been dealing with a great deal of uncertainty. But you know, I'm amazed as I've been many times over my 15 years here at BCIT, but what we've accomplished as a community. And of course, it hasn't been perfect. But when I step back and look at what's come together, it is really great. We've been able to transition the majority of our learning, either fully or partially, to an online basis. And that's not just your typical lectures and labs. We've got group work and collaboration and applied learning. Where in-person lab and shop work is continuing because we're BCIT and that's a key piece of what we do, we've been able to adjust so that we're adhering to all of the current health guidelines. You know, I'm aware of many individuals and teams who have hit the ground running early to enable this transition. And I would like to be able to recognize everybody, but I do need to give a special call out to the absolutely outstanding work that's been undertaken by our Learning and Teaching Center, who've supported all of our faculty within a really tight time frame. Now, many faculty have indicated to me that they enjoyed the opportunity to challenge themselves to look at how we can deliver learning in a different format. But it was still really hard work. I also want to extend kudos to our student association. They created a COVID-19 info hub to support other students in making the transition to learn online, as well as provide resources for health and finances, etc. And I need to thank all of our students for your flexibility and your patience in embracing all of these changes. In an excellent example of how BCIT is tied into the real world, our School of Health Sciences recently responded to an urgent call for personal protective equipment in the health system and we were able to collect hundreds of respirators and gowns, goggles, gloves, etc., that we can deploy out into the field as needed. So it's a different world. But there's some real positive that's coming as a result. We are doing our best to keep BCIT's breaking news page up to date. Please check back there regularly. If you have questions that aren't answered there, we encourage you to contact your program heads, your chief instructors, or your associate dean to make sure that you get the answers that you need. It was a tough week, and in all honesty, I'm tired. And I suspect so are each and every one of you. My hope for everyone is that you got even just a bit of a break this weekend. You were able to go outside, you connected with friends and family, probably virtually. And if you have not yet, please take a moment to pat yourselves on the back. If we've learned anything through this experience, it's that the world we live in can change with very little notice. And that's not about to end, but our BCIT community can rise to the occasion. I am so proud to be part of that community. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and please stay safe.